What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here helping you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, what I'm gonna do is give you guys another free sample play from my latest ebook, the Pistol Bunch Tight End ebook. I dropped this ebook a few weeks back. A lot of people uh, have gotten it and really enjoyed it. I did drop another sample play back when I dropped it, so I'll link that in the description below if maybe you missed that one. But this is another really good play in the ebook and a play that's so underrated this year that almost nobody runs one of the better plays in the game that just goes overlooked so i'm going to give you guys another free sample of the ebook uh if you want to purchase the ebook links will be in the description and in the comments uh if you go check it out hope you guys enjoy it and as always i will see you guys on the next one okay so the next play we're going to look at is the uh saints flood this is i think this play is exclusive to the saints playbook i believe uh it's not in the other two playbooks but Basically what you have here is you have another one of those good corner routes. This time it's from the tight end. It's very sharp. It's going to get underneath the deep zones very well. So this play, you can run it in the middle of the field. But if you're on a hash mark, make sure that the corner route is on the short side. You don't want the corner route on the wide side of the field because it's a little bit too shallow. So if you run it on the wide side of the field, it can get in trouble. Whereas on the short side of the field, it's actually, you know, arguably better. So again, we'll, we'll show that. So here is a, a cover four. If they're playing under any type of underneath coverage, you're going to want to attack that corner. Now, the only setup for this play is just to redrag the Y receiver because the drag that he's on originally is actually an option route, which we don't want. We want him to always run the drag. So very quick, easy, you know, quick hike setup. And you'll see easily going to get underneath the deep zone over there, pass lead it to the sideline, possession, catch it. Um, so just note if you're on a hash mark, you want him on the short side of the field. You never want him running to the wide side of the field. But if you're in the middle of the field, it doesn't matter which side that you run it to. So again, we'll show you cover four underneath coverage. Anytime they're playing underneath coverage, you're going to want to hit the, the A tight end, get him underneath all of the zones. Very, very easy. So that's one thing to look at. Now again, on the other side of the field, if they're playing underneath coverage, that's when you have the speed out to Aguilar. It's going to be very good. I like to pass lead this up just to be safe. And that's really better than the the corner route, in my opinion, on this play. I like the speed out better than the corner. But it's good. It's nice to have an option on both sides of the field. Again, here's going to be another underneath cover four. You see, as soon as he bites down, you pass lead this up. And we have Earl over there. And Earl's not even anywhere close to this because that vertical route's pulling Earl deep every single time, which is really good. Here's a cover three. You see the same thing underneath coverage just wait on it to the sideline with the corner out now we're going to go back to the other side of the field and show the speed out i really love the speed out on this play uh and this is like a really good speed out because it's kind of like a little more shallow speed outs are typically a little bit deeper than this i just like it just falls in the perfect area of the field where the linebacker can't pick it off but neither can a 91 zone defensive back very very nice um so now if they're playing any type of cloud flat coverage which is something you'll you usually see underneath coverage with cover four and cover three, but with cover two, you'll normally just see clouds. So you'll see here, if you're seeing cloud flat coverage, this is when you can just kind of go to either drag. He kind of got caught up there. Usually I like to wait till it crosses the other side of the field. But again, we'll run it again, show you to the opposite side here. They're playing back with the speed out there. So we go to the flat, go up field. I threw it a little too late there. I could have got more than more yards out of it than I did. Here we'll show cover two, drop the middle linebacker back because that's usually how people will run cover two this year. And you're going to have the same thing. When it crosses to the other side of the field, just pass easy, easy eight yards. I mean, it, it's just simple. It's high, low reads on both sides of the field. If they're playing cloud flat coverage, you go underneath to the running back or to the drag. If they're playing underneath, you hit the drag or excuse me, the corner or the speed out. I mean, it's just very simple. I mean, that's a cover two with a 91 zone guy and we still got five plus yards on it. Very simple play. Definitely one of my favorite plays. This is a play that you can run more often. This isn't like a sprinkle in type play. Again here we'll show you. I, I just love the speed out. Anytime they play underneath coverage the sp you have the corner as well so don't sleep on that but the speed out just kills. I mean it's just such an easy dot for like 15 yards. It's just so simple so easy and I love it. So uh, Saints out definitely one of the better plays in this scheme.